And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power of football at its best. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Two-minute warning. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. They set up the eye formation. It goes to the tailback. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Three-step drop, looks to his left. He has the grab, picks up five. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Play action fake. Looking to throw. The Falcons now move the chains. That'll stop the play right there. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Here's the first snap after the big play. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Gold line defense on the field. Second and goal at the two. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. The Redskins ready to return the kick. He'll take a knee in the end zone. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. Throws to the right. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Moss is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and 10. The defense gets a sack. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Trying to work that left side. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick three and out. going to challenge the punt coverage. Runs out of bounds. Terrible job by the defense that time. They did not spread the field. They got out of their running lanes. And when you do that, it creates a lane. The punt returner saw it and got some big yards. First and 10. Action fake. Scrambling out of the pocket. Almost intercepted. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. Jackson running to the left side. The Falcons are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. One more snap and we can call it a day. Running away from the pressure. Has the reception all alone. And 
last. The clock hits zero, and mercifully, this game is finally in the books. We are so late in the season now, and it's all the more impressive to see these guys go out here and get another win to keep the undefeated year going. They have so many good players and so many ways they can win games, Jim. That's why they're undefeated. But what they're going to notice this week, going to be a lot more reporters hanging around their locker room because this undefeated thing, it's just going to keep building. Beautiful throw that time by the quarterback. That's why we're calling the play of the game. It's just right on target. You get open, he'll put it on the money. It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Birds. And Dion High stepping to Bay Dirt. To rise up to the challenge. These are the battles. In San Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Walsh and Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. Candlestick Park with so much history. It opened back in 1960. Even the Beatles performed here. And now today, a bittersweet moment as it hosts one last football contest. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sinth getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, I think we got some exciting football coming your way. Enjoy the holidays and enjoy this game today. All right, now let's go to Danielle Bellini, who has more on today's game. Thanks, Jim. I spoke with the Falcons coach this week. The win streak his team is on is absolutely incredible, guys. He told me that this team is one of the most hardworking groups he has ever been around. He says his team brings their lunch pails to work every day and it's translated to the field on Sundays. As long as his team stays focused, he sees no reason they can't make a serious run at the Super Bowl. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Better judgment says, take an eight. Kaepernick's trotting onto the field. Another very good season. Already having thrown more than 15 touchdown passes. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and 10, Frank Gore gets it here. In on the stop, 
Now we'll get a look at the 49ers offense. This is an efficient group. Last week turning the football over just once. And Manningham's in the slot. Second down and seven. Running back gets it on the handoff. They break through, tackle them behind the line. And here's the Falcons defense. They are a brute force that can dictate a game from the very start. The 49ers want to convert here, especially after last week's abysmal performance in third down situations. And that's going to be a three and out. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. The punter awaits the snap. Set up return. Here he goes. He's brought to a halt. And Davis is a player to watch today. Very efficient again last week, completing over 80% of his passes. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. The 49ers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Here's our look at the Falcons lineup on offense today. They struggle at times to move the ball, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare today. And as always, the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Order now at PapaJohns.com. And here's the 49ers defense. There they are in the top three when it comes to taking down the quarterback. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Challenging the defenders to the right side. 25 on that play. Well, the Deacon Duck quarterbacks, they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. Steven Jackson gets it here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. It's now second down. Davis standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Picks up only two. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes complete a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. The 49ers lined up in the nickel. Third and nine, quarterback drops back, play action. Complete, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The 49ers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Davis is going to take it from the gun. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. First and 10. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. After running it, it's second down. And Juan Bolden with the catch. Now to about the 33. Colin Kaepernick under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. They bring him to the turf. First and 10, full house formation. In trouble now. Eyeing that left side and sailing out of bounds. Offense lines up here. Davis back in shotgun formation on the run. He'll fire it out to the left, makes the grab. 
This is everything you don't want to do as a quarterback. You're under pressure, you scramble backwards, you're under heavy pressure, and you just fire it down the field. What an arm by this guy, and he gets a big completion. Candlestick Park, built back in 1960, originally for the San Francisco Giants. The Niners moved here in 1971, and all kinds of championship teams have come out of Candlestick, and today, this is the last regular season game in Candlestick history. Yeah, I just think of the quarterbacks that have played here so far. I think of John Brody, Y.A. Tittle, Joe Montana, Steve Young. Tremendous history here at Candlestick Park. And also, you can't mention the stadium without talking about the wins. The wins, always a factor, no matter what the sporting event is being held in the stadium. What was it like playing here, as you did many times? It was awful. <laughs> well, you know, it, listen, it was not good because all those years, you think about Bill Walsh and all those great football teams and winning those Super Bowls, those are the teams I played against. So a good home crowd against a team that had a lot of good players, it's going to be a rough experience. Well, you know, the Beatles gave their final concert here at Candlestick back in 1966, and let's see what the 49ers' last concert looks like today. Not many middle linebackers do this anymore in the NFL. They usually are just runners, but not my man here. He can go up inside and stuff runs with the best of them. Gains 11. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Straight ahead. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. Another handoff. This time it's nailed after a gain of only one. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. A bound to snap it. And he's in for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. They'll send it to the 20 yard line. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. And the give to Frank Gore. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. That's second down coming up. Gore tackled at the 18th. That's the end of the first half, and we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. Let's go back to the sidelines. Danielle Bellini has the latest. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Harbaugh during halftime. Not much scoring here, so obviously Coach talks about wanting to move the ball specifically through the air. He feels like there are opportunities for big plays on the field, so he just wants to see his guys take advantage of them. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. First down here. And here we go. The first snap of the second half. Has enough for the first as he's taken down at the 33. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. First and 10. Searching for space to the right. Gains 15. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent. But the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. Play action, gonna take off with it. Makes the catch in open space. 
The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. First down following the long play. Damn, that gains a few. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go, and they stopped him for a short game. Second down. And Davis has got it in the gun, escaping the pressure, looking to the right side and throwing. Gains 14. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Now inside the red zone. They were very good at finishing off drives last week in this situation. The quarterback will hand it off. Tackles made. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Second and goal from the five. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Wide receivers are bunched up. Third and goal at the four. Makes the grab. Touchdown. It is so disappointing when you're down near the goal line and you don't score. Well, the offense doesn't have to know that disappointment this time. Good job, good play call, and a beautiful throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. He made it. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. That's a touchback. Bolden's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and eight. Gain of two. Number seven with the carry. Gain of two. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Third and six. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in in his area. Read the quarterback and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Going to try his luck here. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Well, the offense, they need to pat him on the hiney when he comes off the field. What a good job by the punt returner. Puts him in good field position. Let's round! Let's round! They face first down. Play action. Trying to make something happen. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Second down following that incompletion. Gives it to Steven Jackson. That's a gain of six. Setting up now at the 45. They've come out in the dime package. Final quarter underway now with this snap. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. Going to drop back. Throws to the right. Falcons get a first down. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old... Hogs up front, they're pretty strong, so it's fourth down, go for it, and you pick it up. First and 10. 
Play fake here, getting away from the pressure. Launches it down the field. Touchdown, Touchdown. Atlanta Falcons. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL, the fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw, nice touchdown. The 49ers are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The score's 21 to 0. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. This is a screen play all the way. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Gore is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Getting sacked. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback, when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Third and 17. Frank Gore gets it here. The tackle is made, and that's a three and out series for the offense. We've hit the two minute warning in the second half. He wants to return this one. He's brought down at the 46. to the line and it's first down. Jackson's hand at the football. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Second and seven. Escaping the pressure. And in completion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. Gets away from the pressure, sticks to his hands. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. Sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Now first and 10. He's scrambling now, and he's thrown to the ground. Stickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Play action fake, looking to throw, looking to scramble. Games 18. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that pulls the defense. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Play action fake, challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone, gets the completion, and there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you gotta really drive the football in there. They're going back up top. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. The 49ers await the kickoff after giving up a devastating score for their side. The score's 28 to 0. And a touchback. Yeah. 
the defense comes out in the nickel. First and 10. The throw to the left. That ball was going the other way. They pounce on him there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback size. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down, offense ready for the snap. Davis turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And they can't connect. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Almost intercepted. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you gotta know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. You gotta throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Third and 10 looking to the right side and throwing. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. This team off to a tremendous start, and still without a loss. To be at this point of the season and still be undefeated, oh, man, you got to be doing a lot of things well. Not only that, it just, it almost guarantees the fact that you if you just play so-so, you're still going to qualify for the playoffs.